You know, making the universe is much more complicated than making a sponge cake. We have to make a big bang happen in order to produce a lot of hot and massive stardust. To be able to make it boil, of course, you need very hot and massive energy. The universe we currently live in is boiling in the cosmic microwave background. After that, the universe will freeze and cool for 13.8 billion years. It was only then that our universe that we know today was formed. It's more complicated than making sponge cakes. Do you guys want to try to make a universe? The following are steps that can be tried to create a universe. What are the basic ingredients and the cooking process? See full explanation. The materials needed to make the universe are as follows. 3 cups hydrogen, 1 cup helium, a little lithium, a little beryllium. First of all, you have to mix all the ingredients and squeeze them into a small ball. Then throw it a safe distance to produce a big explosion or big bang. Easy, isn't it? It looks easy, but it's very unlikely to be made by humans. At first, the universe consisted of only these four basic chemicals. Whereas now, there are at least 92 types of elements in space. These elements form celestial bodies such as stars. From there, the universe is cooked. In fact, the cooking process does not just stop. Want to know the next cooking process? Here's the development of the universe until now. Before knowing the next process that occurs, it's good for us to understand what happened before the Big Bang. Before the Big Bang, we didn't know anything. It is difficult to know what universes existed before ours. Due to the absence of time and space before the Big Bang, the question of when and where is irrelevant. There are several possibilities that the Big Bang occurred because there was a material so dense and hot that it was unstable, which then exploded. Another theory says the Big Bang started when matter was pulled together by gravity to a point. All statements about the origin of Big Bang are just theories. We are waiting for the proof or not at all. When the universe was very young, it experienced a growth spurt. During the explosion called inflation, the universe expanded massively and multiplied 90 times. Then, 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe is still very hot and dense. At this stage, subatomic particles such as electrons, protons and neutrons begin to form. Initially, the photons are very densely packed and intensively interact with these particles through a process called absorption and emission. During the first 380,000 years after the Big Bang, the universe continued to expand and cool. This allowed the photons to move more freely and allowed the first atoms to form. This process is called recombination, in which electrons can combine with protons and neutrons to form hydrogen atoms, which are the simplest atoms in the universe. During this stage, the universe becomes transparent to photons. Previously, photons were trapped in a very dense medium, so they couldn't travel far without interacting. However, when atoms were formed and the universe cooled, photons could freely move around without constant interaction with matter. As a result, the cosmic microwave background radiation generated at this stage is important as early evidence for the existence of the Big Bang. At 400 million years after the Big Bang, the universe went through a period known as the Dark Ages. This is the phase when the universe is relatively dark and there are not many sources of light present. In the early stages of the universe, after the formation of atomic hydrogen, the radiation produced by early stars could not penetrate the dense clouds of hydrogen gas. As a result, the light from these stars couldn't travel through the medium and the universe became dark. During this age of darkness, Gravity set to work gradually gathering clouds of hydrogen gas and other matter. Large-scale structures such as galaxy clusters and cosmic filaments seen today began to form through this gravitational process. Even though there isn't much light emitted, 
the universe continues to expand and contract gravitationally. At a certain point in the Age of Darkness, when gravity was sufficient to gather enough matter, a momentous event known as reionization occurred. Reionization occurred when early stars were forming and produced ultraviolet radiation, strong enough to break apart the hydrogen produced by the background radiation that existed since the Big Bang. As a result, the hydrogen atoms lost their electrons and the universe became ionized again. Stars form through a complex process that begins with the condensation and accretion of matter within giant molecular clouds known as molecular nebula A. First of all, gravity begins to act on the molecular cloud, causing compression and an increase in temperature in the center of the cloud. The high pressure and temperature cause matter to concentrate into a dense core called a protostar. The protostar begins to pull matter from its surroundings through the force of gravity. This material accumulates around the protostar in an accretion disk called the protoplanetary disk. The increased accretion of matter results in significant heating in the core of the protostar. When the temperature and pressure at the center reach a certain point, the nuclear pressure starts to predominate and starts the nuclear reaction of thermonuclear fusion. The nuclear fusion reaction in the core of the protostar converts hydrogen into helium and releases tremendous energy. This process produces the light and heat that makes the protostar a stable star. The Sun formed 9 billion years after the Big Bang. The Sun and solar system formed from a rotating cloud of gas and dust known as the solar nebula. The stars that form are then gravitationally bound together with gas, dust, and dark matter. Gravity then compressed and collected matter in areas of high density, forming galaxy clusters, cosmic filaments, and voids. Such large-scale structures continue to evolve over time. Within the galaxy, clusters and cosmic filaments, matter begins to accumulate and accretion to the center of these structures by means of gravitational forces. This process allowed the formation of individual galaxies. According to current cosmological models, our universe went through a phase referred to as an accelerated expansion that began about 9 billion years after the Big Bang. This acceleration of expansion is believed to be due to the presence of dark energy which dominates the composition of the universe. Dark energy is the term used to describe the mysterious nature of the forces that are accelerating the expansion of the universe. Although it has the same name as energy, dark energy is not actually a form of energy that we are familiar with in everyday life, such as kinetic or potential energy. It's rather a term used to describe the phenomena that drive the expansion of the universe. Dark energy is believed to contribute about 68% of the total matter energy in the universe, while ordinary matter, atoms, molecules and matter as we know it only accounts for about 5%. The remainder, about 27%, is thought to be dark matter, which is not detected directly but can be measured by the gravitational effects it produces. As dark energy dominates the universe, the gravitational force generated by dark energy pushes the space between galaxies to expand itself at ever greater rates. In other words, the distance between objects in the universe is increasing with time. The effect of this accelerating expansion can be observed through remote observations of type I galaxies and supernovae. Through these observations, scientists have discovered that galaxies that are outside our local gravitational band are moving away from us at ever greater rate. This indicates that the universe is undergoing accelerated expansion